it's Naomi the Crafty Savage here, and I'm back with our next letter of the ABC's Shay J Reed style, right? So today's letter is the letter P. So what, what's things that could be begin with P, like a penguin? I already know some of y'all dirty birds have already said it, and I'm not, you ain't gonna get me to say it, and it's the eggplant emoji. You know where I'm going with it. Y'all nasty, gross. Get your dirty minds out the gutter. Let's see, what else begins with P? Uh, pothole. Oh, they're everywhere in Pennsylvania. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? I said penguin, I said pothole. Oh, pans. A Peter. Oh, that, that, you dirty birds got me doing it. Okay, so let's get into this. This unboxing comes to us from Rhinestone Goddess Creations. It is, P is for, by the... By Shay J. Reed. It is a 65 by 80 centimeter. I'm going to be showing you a square diamond painting. If you like this image, you can get it in a round as well. It is not just limited to the square diamond painting. As well as all of the rhinestone and goddess creations canvases have a 100% warranty. They have free shipping. Like, hello. You get the option of if you want a tool kit or not. If you do do go, yeah, if you do do, yeah, I can't talk today, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Jeez Louise. If you do go with the tool kit, you will get a little squishy squish for your pen. You get your diamond painting pen in there. It's got a single placer and a two placer. You get this big mamba jamba multi placer as well. You get a container for your wax. You get baggies inside of baggies, and we know if you're if you're not new here, then you know I appreciate those baggies in the baggies. I don't know about you, but I cannot stand it when the baggies are all willy nilly in the toolkit. What else do we get in here? Oh, and tweezers, right? Tweezers. So it has not happened yet. But starting soon, Lauren from Rhinestone Goddess Creations is going to be start shipping your diamond paintings out in boxes instead of wrapped in my nemesis here. We ain't there that. No, no, no. But what I do love about their kits is you get this plastic sleeve, right? I don't know if you can see that. You get a plastic sleeve that, you know, once you take it out of my nemesis here, you can wrap your drills in there. You can put your inventory sheet in there, roll it up, slide it on in here. You can either slap a rubber band around it to hold it. You could peel this off here, you know, and use the little sticky. Love it. Love it. I wish all diamond painting companies did that. It's just one of the little quirks, you know, that Rhinestone Goddess Creations has. I did want to say, now this is an older kit. This is the inventory sheet that you'll get in the newer kits that now that you will now get if you order. You get the inventory sheet like this, the paper sheet that you can run through a Zyron sticker maker. Or you also get a sticker sheet that you can slap on the bags. You can slap them on your container, slap them on your forehead, slap them on your kid's forehead. You know, decorate your car with them. Slap them on your walls. Whatever you want to do with them stickers, it comes with stickers. Yes, 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 yes. So this diamond painting has 55 colors. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. And it's got one, two, three ABs, right? Woo. So let's quick take a look at this here. Right, isn't she cute? She's just adorable. The plants? Ooh, poison. Maybe it's poison. Maybe that's what P stands for. Hmm. I've been trying to not think negative here, guys, lately. So, yeah. Yeah, Any, anywho, we didn't come here for that. So, when you get your canvas, it will come in my nemesis. This hard, not hard, but like thicker plastic. I don't know if you can hear that. There is a styrofoam like tube roller, I don't think I'm a jiggy in there. That is so your diamond painting does not get bent, doesn't get squished, it keeps its form, right? So, is my nemesis going to like me today, right? Let's, let's hope so, because I don't feel like fighting with it. So, you peel this off. Oh, the other ones must have, you know, written home before I slaughtered them and told them, she, she, she ain't having it. You're not going to win. Just come off. 
So on your diamond paintings, there are these like clear rubber bands. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's two. This one only has two. So quickly, the rhinestone goddess creations canvases, they have a silk flocking material. When I say like, this is soft, like it is, it is really soft. Like it just, when I say like, I could pet this canvas, I could just keep on petting this canvas, but you did not come to see me pet the canvas, right? You came to see what P is. Here is that little, you know, styrofoam roller thing. We don't need that. Get rid of that. So let's, let's find out, shall we? Great. Now all rhinestone guys creations canvases are poured glue. So you can roll it back on itself like I am doing right now to flatten it out. Do not do this with a double-sided adhesive canvas. Do not do this with a mounted glue canvas. You will cry. It's going to cause rivers and bubbles and all that. And just make the diamond painting a living nightmare to work with, right? So let's see. What are we working out with here? Voila! Oh, look at her. Just look at her. Oh! Guys, she's just adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. She's got like her little poison on the tray. Before we get into this image though, at the top of every rhinestone goddess creations canvas, you have her logo. On the top left-hand side, you will have your legend that it lets you know the number of the bag, your symbol with your DMC color, right? Got to love it, love it, love it. Down at the bottom left-hand side, you have your thumbnail. It tells you the name of the canvas, which is P is 4, and it is by Shay J. Reed herself. It is a 60 by 80 centimeter, and it comes to us from Rhinestone Goddess Creations. Now, quickly, you might have seen this little F9377 number here, and you're like, what? What in the good Lord is that? If you were to happen to store your canvas separately, from your drills to try to like save space on the drills it's got the number right there right now i just wrote the number or the number the letter of the painting just so it's easier for me to find the drills since there was so many of them in the beginning so you see the five nine three seven seven down here on the painting you have the five nine three seven seven so that way you know what drills go to what painting Makes life so much, so much easier to find it. You do have the Rhinestone Goddess Creations email address down here, as well as another legend on your right hand side. So that way, if you're working on your canvas, you know, say you got this done and you're like rolling it up to try to save space, you know, you're just rolling, rolling, working your way down. But now you can't see the legend over here. She got you covered, right? awesome sauce so let's ch check out this canvas shall we we shall oh, look at that now this canvas also does have a frame on it some of shay j reed's artwork she will incorporate a frame around the painting you can choose to get the diamond painting with the frame or without the frame so if you get it Obviously, this is with the frame, right? If you get it without the frame, it would just, the picture, the image itself would be, you know, expand out bigger so the frame's not around it. What I do like that Shay J. Reed does when she puts a frame into her picture, she incorporates the frame into something with her, the image. And I love figuring it out. Looks like we have like some skulls and poison. I'm pretty sure that P stands for poison. You got like the little poison vials here. She's got her plants. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, she just, oh, she just tickles me. I love the green in her eyes. She just looks so like sweet and innocent that it's like you just would never see it coming, right? Like, would you expect this cute little girl to be coming up to poison you? I mean, I, I wouldn't, right? Let's quickly take a look at the symbol 
quality here. Is it going to be a pain in the butt? Now, if my camera would focus, right? As you can see, there is no issues. Well, that one's a little that's slightly blurry, but that just might be. It's like dark. It's like raining out today. And this is the best I could get the lighting. But yes, as you can see, it is clear. I do not see, you know, any problems telling the difference in the symbols. And with a light pad underneath this, it's going to make it that much easier. Now, let's take a look at the drills. This is a square again. If you like this image, you can order it in a round as well. You take a look at the square dress. Look at that green AB. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So it looks like we got a green AB, a yellow AB, and a purple AB. But you can see that they come already pre-bagged. So you can just, you know, open this up, pull out the bag you need, and get started on it right away. You don't have to kit up if you don't want to. I like kitting up. I like working out of containers more than bags. That's just my preference, right? But you can see with the square drills, there is no like little knobbly bits. There's no little indentations. These square drills are absolutely amazing to work with. Look at that color field. I love how you got like the blacks, but then you got like the pops of these like colors in there. Oh, it just, it tickles me. Oh, it just tickles me, tickles me, tickles me, right? So you're probably wondering, but what, you know, is it, is the glue sticky, right? Is it going to be a stage five clinger? Is it going to hold your drills? Cause we know the drills aren't the problem, right? Let's see. Are we going to commit to this painting? Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is a stage five clinger. It is not going anywhere. Okay, let me get my hand back there. So you do not have to worry about your drills falling off the canvas. You're not going to have to seal your canvas after you put all that work in there. I mean, what, what could not get any better? But yes, oh, oh, I just, I love this painting. I love the plants. I love the poison. I think those are like mushrooms behind her. It's like she's got like almost like a poisonous smoky fog going around her. And then with the frame, how she just has like the mist and the different poison vials and ah, oh, it is just something, something different, right? So again, this painting has 55 colors and three ABs. Now let's see where these ABs go. I have a feeling maybe not her eyes, but they might be because I don't know. Did you see that green color? Let's find so, out. These are our colors of the ABs. We have this like green AB. And you know how I said I wonder if they're going to put it in her eye? They must have heard me because it is sprinkled in her eyes here. You have this green AB sprinkled all like just throughout here. Again, if you're new to diamond painting, an AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's just like, you see how when the light hits it, how it just reflects different colors? It's just a shiny coating that they put on the drill that just makes them shine brighter, makes the drills around them shine brighter when the light hits them and makes it reflect. Let's see, number 54 is this like orangey color here. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. That is going to be just kind of like in the, I think this is like a flower pot right here, right down in here. You got some in the mushrooms here. You got some in this flower pot down here, as well as, I'm pretty sure there's more, maybe not. And then this purple, this purple bluish AB is going to be sprinkled all kind of down in here. You have it all throughout the frame of this diamond painting. But yes, you know what? Honestly, I think they did pretty good with the ABs this time. I don't, I don't know if there's anywhere else that I might add it. Like maybe like throw in some red ABs, like maybe like in the little dots here on the, the planner. 
Um, yeah, I don't, you know, maybe like that same right in the planner, like just in the shading here on like her clips in her hair. But yeah, no, I think they kind of, for the most part, like they nailed where the, all the AB should go. So what do you think of this image? Do you think P stands for poison? Let me know down in the comment section. But with that said, guys, I'm going to hop on out of here. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.